guys, Wade Fellin with Big Hole Lodge here in Southwest Montana. Been getting a lot of questions about our snowpack, and the truth is, I don't know. We didn't have a very good winter. We've had a ton of rain and snow this spring, so I brought in someone that knows more than me. I went to the Department of Natural Resource Conservation and got a hold of one of their water planning section supervisors, Michael Downey, and we're gonna interview him today and see kind of where we stand. <laughs> fishing guides are famous for speculation, so I wanted to bring in a scientist and someone with a bit more of a finger on the pulse. You bet. I, um, when it comes to speculation, though, even even those of us in the kind of science weather community, we've been known to do a little speculating, too. <laughs> uh, it's the beauty. Of, everybody wants to talk about weather, and uh, nobody really knows what's gonna exactly what's going to happen, and, and I get paid whether I'm wrong or right. <laughs> you do sound like a fishing guide. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, exactly. Out here in the big hole, we really missed uh, November, December, even most of January in terms of snow. We did have some cold. Uh, last winter was a much worse winter all around, and then we didn't have a spring out here. So right. a lot of folks locally experienced fire. Um, big hole was in Hoot Owl early, and the rivers were low kind of around the state. So this year we were biting our fingernails going oh no this this we've seen this story before but now sure. late april and may it's it's rained or snowed it seems like for a portion of the day almost every day and i see the graph is now showing 150 percent of snow water equivalent in southwest uh, montana in our corner anyhow what does that mean will this will this snow that just came in in may leave as quickly as it came if it gets hot or is this setting up and has this bought us some time? Well, I think that regardless, uh, it's bought us some time. I mean, part of what, when you look at that map, I think what gets a little bit misleading about those those maps that show the uh, the amount of uh, uh, snowpack left in the basin is that that map is not for the, it's not for the season, it's for that day. And so what's happened is, is that we've had with all this cold weather that we've had in April and May, it's extended out that season. So if we look in the big hole, um, we actually never hit peak snowpack. But what we did do is we bought ourselves a couple of weeks so that normally on this day, for the amount of snowpack that there is left in the mountains right now, well, that, that day is typically, I, I, in fact, I just looked right before we talked here, that day is typically about May 15th. So we bought ourselves a couple of weeks, um, which is great. And, and I think that, because what, what that's gonna mean is that we're gonna hang on to some of that snow a little bit longer. Um, it's not gonna come out quite as quick. I mean, it really depends upon the June. Now, if we were to talk two weeks ago, I would have been really down in the mouth and said, wow, it looks like it's gonna get hot and it's gonna be dry. And we're gonna see what happened, just what happened uh, this year as we saw last year. Um, I was just looking and actually the Climate Prediction Center, their, uh, their one month outlook is for a colder uh, than normal and wetter than normal uh, June in Western Montana, which is great news uh, for places for the big hole and really for all of Southwest Montana, uh, really all for Western Montana. Um, if, if we can have a decent June, um, we'll see if that plays out. Uh, right now, the prediction is for a decent June. Um, you know, we, we could really, uh, we could really, you know, kind of resurrect this season, which, which I was pretty down in the mouth about. Um, but, uh, but now I, I think that it, it's going to depend upon what happens in the next four to six weeks. And uh, the next four to six weeks, if, if they go our way, I think we're going to be in pretty good shape, um, both for, uh, you know, both from a, a standpoint of of, of fire danger, uh, potentially for flows. Um, you know, the snowpack that we're getting now, it's gonna come out more quickly than that, uh, than that February snowpack would. That said, if we can hang on to some of these cooler, cooler evenings and, uh, and continue with some precip, um, it's gonna really help. Um, so I, I'm certainly a lot more optimistic uh, than I was even a, a few weeks ago. Um, in, in 2004, uh, we had a lousy February and a lousy March. In fact, it got up to that year, it got up into the 70s in the big hole in February. 
um, for a couple of days and everything came out um, at that point. Uh, I think they were down to, in early April, they were down to um, 12 CFS in Wise River, implementing, you know, kind of drought measures at, at that point. And then it started raining in June. And even up into the middle of July, uh, we had a, above normal flows on the big hole. Um, I, I think that's that's reason to be hopeful. How about our reservoirs? Are yeah. we refilling those? You know, and that's certainly this moisture is going to help that. Certainly those rivers that have storage are going to are going to see the, the the benefits of this. We're not going to make up all that lost water um, from in those in those reservoirs, even through a storm like this. I suspect that the uh, that the reservoirs are going to they're, they're going to be they're going to be low this summer. There's just there's no getting away from that. There, there is no doubt we are still in a drought and we will be in we will be in a drought all summer long, if only because our our soil moisture deficits are uh, were, were so depleted uh, last year last uh, fall was a dry fall that's usually when we look to uh, re um, replenishing some of that soil moisture that didn't happen statewide uh, we are still very much in a drought even in north central montana um, we're looking at uh, continuing to degrade conditions they didn't get the moisture out of this storm that the rest of the state did. I mean, I, I make the same mistake and then I'll often look out the window and you know, and, it, and it's raining to beat the band and think, well, by gosh, this is, this is great for Montana. And it doesn't always play out that way, even up towards the sun and up on the front, um, they didn't get the moisture out of the storm uh, that they, you know, that, that you guys got. Uh, so, so yeah, I mean, uh, we are, we're still very definitely in a water conservation mode and we're in, we're in a, a drought mode. I think that, um, for, for rivers, uh, especially those headwater, headwater streams like the Big Hole, like the Ruby, um, especially down in the Southwest where we got good moisture, um, are really gonna benefit out of this, but we, we're still in a drought. Well, I hope we can circle back in August and, and talk about how good June was and <laughs> how wet July continued to be. And, and yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't, that be, wouldn't that be spectacular? You know, if you look at it, I mean, June, uh, historically, it had been our, our, uh, our wettest month of the year and July uh, was good too. And that's, that's really, the things have really taken a turn and, and changed and, and June, both June and July have gotten a lot drier. So my last question for you before I let you go is when we hear historical average or 150% of normal, what is the date range of that normal? Is that a 100-year average? Is that a 50-year average? Or is that... Yeah, no, it's 30 years. So 30 years. Right. So right now, things shifted um, just this last year from 1991 to 2020. So it's a 30-year it's a average. Great. Yep. Well, thank you so much. I encourage people to leave questions in the comments. I'll forward those over to Michael. Right on there you have it, guys. Things are looking up, but we're not quite out of the woods yet. So keep doing your rain dances, click subscribe, and stay tuned. We'll keep you apprised of our situation as it develops.